What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. It is a Saturday evening and I'm excited to be before you today. It's going to be some changes across the board when it comes to the content that I drop, the different things that I'm implementing, especially on Fight Club. Y'all going to be excited to see what we drop next week on Fight Club. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. I'm about to go out, get something to eat, see what's happening in the streets. Uh, I like to participate and utilize my weekends for things much more than just entertaining you guys, but I still got to make sure that I give you all that game. Um, I was in a dentist today. Yep. Curly whites all looking beautiful. I was in a dentist today and I was talking to the dentist and a dental hygienist and um, new dentist because you know that my primary people is down in Florida, but I do like to, you know, I'm not about to fly out of town just to go for a cleaning. So I went for a cleaning today and I was talking to him and it was asking me about my family and my daughter and all of that other type of stuff. Um, you know, my daughter is 15 going into the 10th grade. And so they was asking me what my plans were for her going to college. Right. And they, they kind of made a joke like, oh, man, you know, that's not going to be your baby anymore when she goes, you know, goes off to college. And I was like, oh, uh, uh, goes off where? Listen, I've been grooming my daughter since the day that she was born to be a daddy's girl. I've <laughs> What you laughing at? Yeah, Rita's over there laughing. She's over there giggling. You see her? I've been grooming my daughter since the day that she was born to be a daddy's girl. And she's absolutely positively a daddy's girl. That's number one. Number two, uh, I believe differently than the world believes. I will never subject myself to the mindset of how the world thinks. And... I believe in traditional values. I, be, I believe in traditional ways in which you raise your family and stuff like that. And so the thing that y'all think is cool is not the thing that we think is cool. And I, I got a formula for success when it comes to relationships, when it comes to money, and certainly when it comes to my family. And so what I believe is that colleges are indoctrination camps. I do. Two things. I think that they're indoctrination camps when it comes to, uh, you know, how it is that they try to shape our children and view the world. You know, a lot of times younger people tend to be Democrats and I don't really care which side of the aisle that you lean, lean on as far as what you tend to vote for, because I think that you need to vote for the person that has the best policy and can get the things best passed through. None of them are going to be perfect as far as being able to serve 100 percent of your needs because they have to represent the interests of the entire country. And so you got to vet each candidate effectively. But we have conservative values and that's I'm not moving off of that. Right. The way that I look at spirituality, the way that I view money, the way I, I view capitalism, everything. I have conservative values. I believe a man is a man and a woman is a woman. I don't think that you can combine the two, but a lot of you guys already know where I stand on that. And so they're indoctrination camps, in my opinion, for a liberal agenda uh, to go against exactly what it is that we teach inside of our households as a conservative man, right? And, you know, I don't believe that it's a free for all. You can do what you want when you want to do it especially for 18 year old child. And I say child because they're not even old enough to be able to take care of themselves, especially considering that their brains isn't fully developed until they're in their mid twenties. So if you have somebody whose brain isn't developed into, your, into their mid twenties, in which there's a difference between the way that you raise men and the way, that, the way that you raise young women, why would I let her be out there on her own without any kind of oversight or protection or under my covering to just do whatever it is that she wants. Now, I, I have raised her correctly. However, my job as a father, until she gets a husband, is to be her covering, right? She subjects herself to what it is that I say. Now, obviously, once you get of age, you know, there's always gonna be the rebellious kids that wind up going off and doing whatever it is that they wanna do when they wanna do it. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully, you know, you put the things into them, and I believe in a word, you put the things into them that will carry them for the rest of their lives. And they're gonna make their mistakes, but you want them to try to make as many mistakes as they can in a controlled environment. It's called uh, failing in a controlled environment. And so why would I ever subject myself to the way that the world do things instead of subjecting myself to the way that the word says in a way that I believe and I've been taught through generation to gen through generation that has been successful for what being able to raise a successful person and a person that's prepared to be successfully married looks like, right? And so when I'm raising my daughter, I raise her completely different than I than the world raise them. I'm not looking for my daughter to be famous. I've built the platforms 
by which she'll be able to capitalize off of financially for the rest of her life. She's taken care of for the rest of her life. She is not going to have to work. Uh, she's Her job is to, you know, really lean into her femininity, study, and then to enjoy life in a wholesome way, not getting caught up in the BS and the nonsense that we see happening in, in the world today. And so, you know, I'm very, very strict and I'm very, very forthcoming with the idea that I don't believe that young girls should be going off to college. Now, I do believe in education. So, so you know, she can go to college and she probably will go to college. She's very smart, very wise, very disciplined and all of that stuff. And I give her a lot of freedom, right? But at the same time, she always got to come back home. Her home base will always be with me. So I am largely of the belief that she is going to have to be an in-state college student uh, staying home. And I will build, continue to build those oases for her to be able to thrive and really love and, and be a part of. And nobody want to stay in a little stank college dorm just to try to have a little bit of freedom. She has freedom now. She goes out. She'll be having her license soon. She, she ain't got to be living based off of that. She ain't got to be under duress just so she could try to get away to have more freedom. You know, we need to, to again, teach our children throughout the years as they mature and give them freedom based off of their ability to be able to handle it. And so that's number one, right? I will not be allowing her to go and be subjected to these indoctrination camps and be spending the majority of her energy around people, meeting new people that don't have her best interest at heart. That's why they have a father so that we can vet more effectively and we can protect them in ways that they can't see because as wise as I've raised her to be, again, her brain is still going to be, be developing it again. The way that you raise your daughters is completely different than the way you raise your sons. The second reason, the second reason, not only is the indoctrination camps, but I also believe that college campuses are gateways for women to become hoes. Flat out, I'm gonna just tell you straight up. I'm not gonna mince words, I'm not gonna pity pat around it. I believe that in most instances, especially from people that uh, our culture and the thing that we celebrate the most, it's just a way for you to go up there and be a hoe, right? And so, again, I am a person that believes failing in controlled environments. If, if you're away from me, I can't help you. I can't protect you. I can't continue to teach you. I can't be a reflection of the thing that you should marry when you get older. And so I'm not going to subject my daughter to an environment that then takes her innocence. And, and I know, you know, of course, kids are rebellious. And so they can do stuff under your nose, whatever, so on and so forth. But as long as I'm in the picture, you know, I can be the sweetest father and that's my baby, but I, I'm definitely going to make you pay for whatever it is that you do. And as long as I'm paying for you to go to college, you 100% are going to do things according to how I do it. Now, I know a lot of people, for them, that's going to be controversial. You know, they're not going to agree with it. They think that they should be their kids' friends and let them do what they want to do when they want to do it. That's not how I was raised. That's not how the women in my family was raised. And they are successfully married and everybody is doing incredibly well. Um, and I will not raise my daughter like that. My, my grandparents didn't raise their children like that. I say, so we're gonna continue the tradition of creating successful individuals, especially when it comes to grooming women for marriage or grooming young girls that turn into women for marriage. That is completely against what our cultural norms are and what society is trying to teach us, right? And so I believe that when you, when you hand your daughter over for marriage, it's going from covering to covering. And until she, until she gets married, she will be under my covering. And that's just the end of the story for that. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, but you know, I like to live my life like an open book. I like to share what my life is. And I'm going to continue, continue to, to implement the traditions that was implemented into me. Of course, we live in different times, so you just evolve with the technology, but the game is the game and it don't change for me. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Again, make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Make sure you get that Teach Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.